Okay, hello everybody and welcome to your next free singing lesson. So today we're going to look at a song, uh, Diamonds, which is performed by Rihanna, and we've got a new demonstrator with us today. Please welcome Rachel, who's hello. come along to sing the song for us. Uh, a bit about Rachel, she's a professional singer. Um, I first met Rachel when you were about 16, is it? Yep, 16. Um, so she's had quite a few singing lessons over the years, and uh, she doesn't really need them now, but occasionally comes along just to check her voice is okay. When it gets a bit tired, we do a few exercises, yeah, stretch the voice colds out. Whatnot, yeah. colds and things like that, which gives singers trouble. Uh, today she's uh, agreed to sing through this song, which is a great one to start. Uh, it's quite a straightforward song, easy song. It's a good song. I like it. Um, it's quite easy from a physical perspective. So by that I mean the song doesn't go too low for most female voices and it doesn't go too high for most female voices. It sits in quite a comfortable place. Uh, it sits mostly in the speaking voice range of, um, of women's voices. So as you sing this one through, you should find that it doesn't give you too much trouble. And the great advantage of that, of course, is that you can concentrate on giving it feeling, really crafting your sound, and trying to sound as close to the professionals as you possibly can. So, uh, without further ado, let's have a go at it. So, uh, it's the first time Rachel sung the song, actually. Um, so she's got the lyrics there. Um, so make sure you've got the lyrics with you as well at home. Maybe print them off the internet. You can pause the video and just print them off. And probably a good idea if you have a listen to the song first as well, so uh, maybe listen to Rachel sing it through. We're going to do the first verse and the first chorus. So you could have a listen to it and then rewind the video and sing along with Rachel a few times until you know the song. And uh, let's give it a try, shall we? Yeah. Okay. So it goes straight in. First phrase is shine bright like a diamond. And then there's a rest and then you repeat that. Okay, let's give it a try. Thanks, Rach. That was lovely. Yay! Okay, so Rachel has sung the first verse through and the chorus like that. There's a few things you've got to watch out for. In the recording, when Rihanna sings it, um, they overdub various parts. So when you get to the phrase which is, goes, um, Saw the life inside, so shine bright. There's another line that fits over the top. Your eyes, where she sings your eyes over the top. You can't sing two lines at the same time, so I would recommend going for so shine bright in the same way that Rachel just did. Um, so that's one thing in there. The uh, shine bright like a diamond can be a little bit repetitive. It repeats three times and it overlaps again the next phrase. So Rachel there very sensibly cut one of the shine, um, shine bright like a diamonds out so that it didn't overlap. And if you're singing a song live, make sure you've considered that before you go into performance, otherwise it could be a little bit of a mess. But that's pretty straightforward to sort out. 
you shouldn't have had too much trouble there with any of the higher notes or any of the lower notes, so it should be quite easy to sing. Um, so then we're thinking about crafting it, we're thinking about giving it lots of feeling, and we want it to sound as good as Rihanna. Now, you may sing that through a few times and think, yeah, I'm sounding great, and then you listen to Rihanna sing it, and you think, well, hang on, I don't sound as good as the recording. Um, Rachel there sounded fantastic, but you may at home be thinking, yeah, it sounds all right. And one of the reasons is that the piano is a little bit loud for Rachel's voice. Now, she very sensibly knows not to try to sing so loud that she balances against the piano because she'd end up forcing her voice and the quality of the sound, you'd start to lose quality. Rihanna, in her recording, she doesn't force her voice. She sounds very loud, but the reason for that is because she's singing into a microphone, which is very close to her, and that microphone has various effects on it. It has a little bit of reverb on it to make a, uh, the voice sound quite big and uh, a little bit of echo, uh, delay, and very importantly, compression, so that all the soft sounds come up and sound just as loud as the loud sounds, and the loud sounds are compressed so they don't sound too loud. And without that, to be honest, we're fighting a bit of a losing battle. We can't compete with a recording unless you have a microphone, uh, some compression, some reverb, and all those things. So if you're practicing at home, say um, you're an amateur singer and you're looking forward to going out to the karaoke and you think, right, I'll practice diamonds and then I'm going to storm it at the karaoke. Um, you may practice at home until it sounds good. You may be belting out in your kitchen where it's a little bit echoey. And then you step up to the microphone and you belt it out and, oh, it doesn't sound so good. You're pushing too hard and the microphone, unfortunately, shows that up. It magnifies it and shows all the mistakes in tuning, the fact that you weren't really crafting the sound. Um, so let's think about that. How can we craft our sound? Well, it will help if you've got a microphone and you've got some speakers and you can practice with the microphone. And as soon as you do that, you'll back off the sound and you'll concentrate on making a beautiful emotional sound as opposed to concentrating on making a loud sound. But if you don't have a mic and a speaker handy, here's a great trick for you. Um, Rachel, you do this as well with us oh, as we yes. do it. And I need you to do this at home so you actually discover what, uh, what it sounds like. Um, but if you put your hands like this behind your ears, bring the palm of your hands round to the front of your mouth and make sure that, that you're not shutting your ear, but that you're, you're channeling the sound from your mouth round to your ear as quickly as possible. You'll hear what your voice sounds like if, um, through the microphone. You'll hear what it sounds like if you were to put your ear right in front of your face. Um, so just say for us, uh, one, two, three, testing, testing, or something like one, that. One, two, three. Testing, testing. So how does that sound to you, Rachel? It does sound like I've got headphones on in a recording studio. It sounds like she's That's got headphones like. on in a recording okay. studio. So if you've ever been in a recording studio, put headphones on, sung into a mic, that's the sound that you hear. It sounds very different. It's the real sound of your voice from a few inches away. And that's the sound that a microphone hears when you're singing uh, on a microphone. And it's the sound that comes out of the speakers as loud as you want to. You can turn those speakers up so they fill Wembley Arena if you like. So let's have a listen to the difference. Rachel is going to sing now on the microphone. I'm going to turn it on. Uh, we've got a few speakers here that you can't see, which are just out of shot. And they're turned up quite loud. And we've got compression on the microphone, and we've got a little bit of reverb on the microphone. And I think you'll find now that it sounds much more like the real deal. Now, Rachel's experience, she didn't push before. Um, uh, and when she hears it on the microphone, she'll probably um, force the sound even less, and she'll probably add quite a few effects to the sound to really make it sound like it's got some emotion in the song. Uh, although you are singing it for the first time, <laughs> yeah. she's never actually done so, this song before, so, so we've got, you've, go. you've got some lyrics there, but let's give it a try. Okay, so microphone on. One, two. Okay, nice. there we go. So it's a little bit loud, isn't it? Let's take it to that. Okay. So done. It's just the first verse and the chorus once more. Have a listen. See the difference it makes. Straighten? Yeah. Shine white like a diamond. Shine white like a diamond. Find light in the beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You and I, you and I, but like diamonds in the sky. Your shooting star, I see a vision of ecstasy. You hold me 
That was lovely. Thank you. So hopefully you notice the difference at home when we use a microphone, when we use compression. Um, then you don't have to force and it sounds much more like the real thing. So watch out when you're practicing at home. 